Welcome back to our channel, The Stickters. Today we're going to show you how to put together and a review of the wicker egg chair. Before we get started, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up to like it as it really helps out our channel. And don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell for all notifications. Let's get to it. It should be just putting the legs on the chair, but we'll find out. Okay, what do we got? We got the headrest cushion. Instructions. This is for you. <laughs> Thank you. We got the main body cushion. Yeah, be careful. Make sure we get this through the door. Uh, yeah, so you got to make sure that we can fit this through our outside door if we put it together inside. Okay, and these are the legs. We have some hardware. What a lovely, another lovely hex wrench setup situation. Okay, here's part of the chair. There is the other part of the chair. The chair is in two pieces. Let's see. <laughs> yes. I think we can make it. Okay, I think it will fit through the outside door. Move the box out of the way. What about a zip tie? Can you get, are you the knife over here? Just use the scissors on the couch. Oh, okay. Oh, he used our food scissors. Don't use food scissors. They're scissors, they cut. <laughs> So this is interesting. There's a little baggie with just a UPC code. I'm guessing this might be a return code. I haven't seen that. I literally zip tied it to the chair. And then you've got your part, your hardware. Oh, what do we got? What's our steps? We want to flip this over. We want to attach the front legs to right here. We need bolts with washers to the smaller one. Okay. One bolt, one washer? Yeah. And we need one, two, three, four. Four per leg. Per leg. So we need eight. But they have labels on the back. Or C1, C2. Oh, okay. I'm going to take the stickers off. Um, you don't need to, they're underneath. You'll actually never see it, but just always take them off. And it's very clearly labeled. It says C1 on the actual egg. The leg says C1 on it. So C1 attaches to C1. So you clearly know which one is the front legs versus the back legs. <laughs> Important note, follow the instructions. <laughs> We're trying to get four screws in because there are four holes, but actually only three are supposed to go in. So it wasn't right. aligning. We tried switching legs, couldn't figure out what's wrong. Yeah, it wasn't okay. aligning, nor was it threaded. So I, even when I got it aligned, I couldn't get it to screw it. So, good. Now it's going in really good. much do this by hand. They went like all the way in. We're just going to tighten with the axle or hex wrench here. And Jay's using the exact same thing just from when we have at home. Should I spin this so we can get access to mm -hmm. the back legs? Yeah. Now we'll do the exact same thing with the back legs. C2, the sticker C2. All legs are tight. Let's 
what's next? Attach the sandu up. And now we gotta attach this one to that one. Okay, and then we gotta attach this one to that one. Look at that. I think this is our uh Longer screws. Yes, longer screws. Should be four of them is what I'm counting. Yep, you got it. So what are these for? They're extra feet to help you level your chair on the outside. So if you can't get a level with the little screw ball, you can attach another one of these to select a spacer. It gives you more, more distance to cover and to help level. Oh, okay. So that seems smart. So we got extra levelers. So then I got this guy here because it doesn't say that in instructions anywhere. each leg and then you attach this together with four screws to put the bottom and top half together. So they say you need two, three people and I understand why now because you just need to hold this up. So you notice I dropped it earlier while you're lining up the screws. So it would be good to have a second person on hand to be able to do that. Okay. All right. Done. Let's get this baby outside, put the cushions in, see what it looks like. Okay. So what do we think, babe? Hey, it looks really nice. Yeah, it looks like it matches our um, couch perfectly too. Yeah. Huh? The cushion is attached to the back of the chair. You can see there's a strap in there. Yeah, I think we'll cut off these tags. Yeah. Just because you can see them, but it does attach, and this one's got a Velcro attachment as well. You want to sit in it? Keep in mind, Jay is six foot one. Actually, this is much more comfortable than I thought. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty easy couch. I'll take a nap with this guy. Oh, yeah. I like it. I can curl my whole body up in here. I'm only five foot four. This is nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a win. I like this a lot. I think it really, we just put together this couch as well. I think it really matches. We did um, like a, the dark brown and beige. They're not a matching set or anything, but it matches pretty perfectly. And yeah, I think it looks really great together. Hang out by the fire pit, grab your beer. I love it. I think this is perfect. This chair totally works with our space. Let's see if this works too. Oh yeah. <laughs> you got like a string on the bottom of your foot from our rug, our rug shed. Beautiful. I think this will be my chair and that'll be his couch. Oh yeah, that was a given when we bought that, that was gonna be your chair. Yeah. Well, I would give this review a definite buy sign. Yeah, it's, it's, it's smaller than it looks online, and it actually fits in, and it looks really nice. I'd say the construction of this is actually better than the construction of this. I would agree on that, but I think together they look perfectly, and it really rounds out our deck. Yeah. We have a whole little area now for entertaining, which is great. Uh, this couch as well is very modular, so you can completely change it up. You can be like, he has it, or we can move out a chair if we want to. So it's pretty exciting for that. Um, and this is a really great fire table. It had one of the highest butanes in our price point. So it was, oh, I keep saying it wrong. BTUs, highest BTUs in our price point. It puts up a lot of heat. Uh, so if you want to see a review on how to put this together and where you can get it, as well as the couch, we'll put them both in the link below, links below in the description. Should we set up our entire patio? Yeah, let's finish it off. Let's okay, let's done. finish it off real quick. Okay, 
Okay, so our final patio reveal. Wait, you can't pile again. Oh, he's gonna light it. Perfect. Maybe 90 degrees outside, but I'm enjoying my fire table. This thing actually does too well. So just a quick few items we got from Burlington to make this more colorful. I really like how it turned out. So we've got our rug here, just $14.99. We're gonna put some citronella candles in these guys. You can also hang them on a tree if you like. So we could hang them up from one of these trees maybe. Might do that. Those are just $11.99. And then we got two pillows. The reviews on this nest egg the people wrote on Wayfair said it needed some side pillows. It's got a couple of side pillows and I love the detailing we've got on these. And each was just $12.99 as well. So that's it. This is our final part four of our four part patio redo. The first part was installing the composite decking, which was way easier than we expected in our very first DIY project. Part two was putting together this couch. Part, oh, actually no, part two was putting together this fire table, part three the couch, and part four the nest egg chair. I'll put all links to those videos in the description below. So definitely click on there to see them and check other reviews on each of them. Part five will be accent lighting around the patio. Oh yes, we still want to do accent lighting around our patio as well. So we need to do that too. So there is a, a, a I guess a final, final, part five that will be coming out. Wait, part six. Oh, part six, what's Gotta that? put bushes and stuff greenery. Yes, we do have to garden. So we have mud back here. So there's nothing there. We do need to add the plants. So yeah, we got two more parts to go. Yep. So I hope you enjoyed our redo and look forward to the final two parts. If there's no way to enjoy your healthy wellness lifestyle, then stay home right now in 2020. So stay home, be healthy, and get outdoors. Don't forget to make sure you like this video, share with a friend, click subscribe, and tune in for future videos from the Stick Thanks for joining us today. We love y'all. Peace.